Well, if, if I was starting up again, um, I certainly would forget about ink on paper because there is a huge amount of mo money to be made in the sunset industries. There always are. I mean, some of the richest guys in the world today are guys in sunset industries. You know the Indian guy that bangs steel plants together? I mean, th this guy's become about like the third richest guy in the world. I mean, do steel plants sound like cutting edge technology to you? I mean, you so there's tons of money to be made in sunset industries, as I call them. But if I was if I was in my late 20s, or middle 20s, or 30s, everything that I did would be web-based, at least electronically based, digitally based. And um, what kind of stuff would I get into right now? Uh, I don't want to give too many you know, ideas away that you know we're always working on because we're constantly launching new product. Um, I think magazines uh, that. For t I'll give you two markets where I know you couldn't fail. It's impossible to fail. If you produce web-based magazines, or whatever you want to call them, e-zines, I, sh I should have told them about e-zines, but never mind, we'll come to that. But on uh, greener living, on, on environmental consent, uh, on, on living a, a kind of life that actually you, you feel good about, even while you're earning quite a lot of money, uh, that kind of magazine, uh, you know, digitally produced, you know, could, in my opinion, virtually not fail. Providing it was from the heart with great writers and great editorial. Give, I'll give you another one. There is no great Baby Boomer magazine. Yeah, yeah, I know. Jan's friend, so he's a good guy. And Rolling Stone's fine. But, you know, there's no really great Boomer magazine. If you could create a magazine called Boomer, uh, digitally or ink on paper or what it is, and you could get a big enough distribution, and you'd sucked all the upmarket readers, and you left um, in Britain there's a magazine called Saga, which is you know for everybody that retires, and you got one here, Modern Maturity, right? If you sucked all the upmarket readers out of Modern Maturity or whatever it's called. And you called it Boomer, and, and it was just a fantastic magazine for people like me who haven't grown up, you know, still drive Harley mo motorcycles, and you know, still think they're 18 years old, and you know, eat Viagra for breakfast and shit. <laughs> you couldn't fail because advertising is desperate to reach those people. The pharmaceutical advertising alone would allow you to produce the most fantastic editorial product you wanted. You know, so, but I would go digital if I was you. I would make sure whatever you do, you, you stick with the digital because it's so much easier and cheaper to launch. Thank you. And you don't have to kill trees. Mm -hmm.